characters in audiobooks are so interesting. They're completely different from other formats. They can't be too crazy or over the top because you'll lose the listener. Now, that being said, <laughs> let's look at Pushkin. Pushkin's a fascinating character. Pushkin's from Shinzar, where there's intense gravity. And um, we had a push, uh, Shinzar character in uh, Sea of Stars. And we were able to sort of figure out that he's, it's very wide in the body. But Pushkin has kind of a, a Russian flair to him. So he was here, and everything was very big with Pushkin, and very deep, and very wide, but very emphatic because he is very certain of himself. And uh, I actually had to gain down a lot. <laughs> when I did Pushkin, I could blow the mic out very easily. Um, Talia was a really unique challenge, and I swear my phone was the greatest asset in that because I have voice memos. And in my voice memos, that's where I, I have all my references for everybody, and I would frequently just call it up and say, okay, okay, where's Talia? Where's Talia? There's Talia. I'll listen to her. Angry. There we go. And she has a unique affectation in her speech that's kind of hutterite in its, in its uh, flavor. So I would listen to this, and then I would have her, and she would be right there, but I would have to come in for her a lot. She was a really challenging and interesting character, too. And for Alex, Alex is... You know, he doesn't have an accent of any kind, but he's a man. So I would kind of drop into my lower register because I'm not a man, right? But I would drop into Alex's vibe, and that would be more down here and also kind of muted given what Alex has been through. Um, that shifts and changes. The story goes along. But um, just a, a guy trying to get things done. That's where Alex lived. Yeah, it was fun. It was really fun to do the great the mix of everybody.